Hello students, welcome back to the class. I would like to tell you a small incident from Thomas Alva Edison's life. His grandmother taught him to pray to God in the morning. She told him to kneel down and ask daily, Lord, give me wisdom and bless the hand bless the work of my hand so whatever he was meddling with turn into a new invention god gave him wisdom he became one of the most great inventor in the world so children daily morning kneel down and pray to god for wisdom and ask god to bless the work of your hand the next section is present perfect tense. Now look here. I have taken my lunch. See the underlined word have taken. Joy has bought new books. See the underlined word has bought. The teachers have gone home. Have gone. The verbs in these sentences are in the present perfect tense. See here, have taken, has bought, have gone. For singular, I is assumption. For I alone we write have. For example, he, she, it or any singular. Joy is singular. We use has plus V3 form. The teachers is plural, so we use have. For I and all plural, we use have plus V3 form. So note in the mind, has or have plus V3 form come for present perfect tense. Look here, affirmative, that is positive sentence. Have or has plus past participle form of the verb. I have played. Played is the past participle form of the verb. For I have will come. For he, she, it has will come. So he has played. This is positive. I have played. You have played. We have played. They have played. For he, she, it, what you should write? Has. She has played. It has played. Next, negative. For negative, we should add not in the sentence. See here, I have not played. We have used not. He has not played. We have used not. For negative, we have to use not. Now for question, the has or have should come in the prime. Has he played? Then you can use the question word also. How has he played? Look here. It expresses action which have just ended. Present perfect expresses action which have just entered. Look here. Look at the picture. Two buses have collided. Two buses have collided with each other. Two buses have collided with each other. One bus has overturned see here has overturned because one is singular so has if it is plural you will write have the other bus has stuck against an electric pole see here the electric pole it is stuck against electric pole the police has already arrived police is singular so has see here you can see the police on the scene many passengers have received injuries so here you see all the underlying word like have collided, has overturned, has stuck, has already arrived, have received. All these are present perfect tense. But it expresses an action which I have just entered. So it is just over. But the effect of that you can see. See here the bus accident has taken place. Now you can see the buses. You can see the bended pole, bended pole. The nurses are carrying the injured people. You can see the policemen. The effect is seen. 
you can see everything right in front of your eye and you can feel. So such kind of situation you use present perfect tense. We often use words like just, already, recently with the present perfect tense if the action has just entered. Now look here, it expresses action which were performed in the past but the result of which we can see or feel in the present. For example, my uncle has got an MA degree in mathematics. Got it long back but the result is still there. That is, he has got the um, certificate with him, the marriage certificate. So, the result is still seen. He has got the MA degree long back, years back. But the result is seen right in front of his eyes. So there you use present perfect tense. See here, second, I have seen the Taj Mahal. You saw long back. You saw it long back, but having already seen it, it need not, uh, you need not see it again. Look at this picture. The parrot dash learned several new words. Here, the parrot is singular. So, which word you should use? Have or has? Has. The parrot has. We three form of learners. Learn. The parrot has learned several new words. Our principal announced a special prize for Anu. Here Anu is singular. Uh, our principal is also singular. So you have to use as. We three form of announces announced. So the answer will be our principal has announced a special prize for Anu. Here you see I, we, you, they. We have to use have. For he, she, it we have to use has. See the example, the cat dash the whole milk, drink is a bracket word. So what is the answer? Cat is singular, so you have to use as. With three form of drink is drink, drank, drunk, drunk is the answer. So the cat has drunk the whole milk, look down, has drunk. I dash myself, for hurt, V1, V2, V3 form is same, hurt, hurt, hurt. So, I has come, so you have to use have. I have hurt, see the answer, I have hurt myself. Now, see here, present perfect tense mean either you have to use as or have plus past participle form of the verb. Look here, v1, v2, v3. This is for simple present tense you use. This is for past tense. This is called past participle, v3 form. We have to use V3 form for present perfect tense. Look at this exercise. You can see a parrot here. Our parrot, bracket word is adjust. So you have to write has adjusted in our house quite well. It has made friends with bouncer, our dog. He has learned quite a few new words. So, it learned, V3 form is learned, L-E-A-R-N-E-D, learned. It has learned. Here, V3 form of uh, make is make, made, made. I adjust, adjusted, adjusted. So, the final answer is, our parrot has adjusted in our house quite well. It has made friends with bouncer or dog. It has learned quite a few new words. So we have come to the end of the class. Thanks for watching.